Hi, we're looking at exponents, addition and subtraction. We have 5 times 2 to the power x plus 2 minus 4 times 2 to the power x all divided by 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 2 to the power x. You will notice that we are dealing with the addition and subtraction involving exponents. Firstly, we're going to look at the numerator. 2 to the power x plus 2. We're going to expand that. And if we expand it, we'll get 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 2, which I've written on the right. Looking at the denominator, we have 2 to the power x plus 1. We're going to rewrite that as 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 1. And if you go backwards, you will notice that if the bases are the same, you add the exponents, x plus 2. So this is what we now have. 5 times 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 2 minus 4 times 2 to the power x all divided by our denominator. The next thing, if we look at the numerator, you will notice, and I've highlighted this with red, that 2 to the power x is common. So we're going to factorize the numerator. Common factor, 2 to the power x. If you now look at the denominator, we have the same situation in the denominator which is in blue. That is, your 2 to the power x is common in the denominator. If we factorize the numerator, we have 2 to the power x, which I've taken out as my common factor, and in brackets I'm left with 5 times 2 squared minus 4. Notice that 2 squared is also common, but we're not interested in the numbers. We're just interested with the variable as the exponent because we can calculate the numbers in brackets we can simplify that later going to the denominator you'll notice 2 to the power x is common I've taken that out and I'm left with 2 in the first term and 2 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x is 1 so we left with 2 to the power x in the numerator as a common factor we've taken that out and in the denominator what do you think we can do next divide. Some people will say cancel. You'll notice that 2 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x is 1. And now we've got rid of the variable and we can now deal with the brackets. Simplify the brackets. It's 5 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 so 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 minus 4 which I've indicated the next step 20 minus 4 2 plus 1 is 3 20 minus 4 is 16, and that gives us 16 over 3. Thank you.